hello my alienators welcome back to my channel new subscribers welcome so today i wanted to do a really um cool video for you guys because i just feel the transformation that selena has gone through and i want to look at it i want to pull some cards on it and i want to do a spirit box session on her i don't know if we've done a spirit box session on her or not but it's time to do one so before we get into today's video let me just talk about business yes my application for editing is still crashed I don't even know if it's ever going to be available again and i'm literally searching every five minutes for new editing tools to edit my videos and i just like loved that one and it was so perfect and i loved it and and now it's not going to be available so i'm kind of freaking out so anyways first of all before i even get into what i want to talk about is i just want to say thank you so much for all your love and support you guys it means the world to me it's it's amazing i feel so blessed to have you guys all send me so much love and good wishes around the world i have like global alienators i have like alienators around the world which is everything so thank you so much and um and i don't know which application i'm going to use to edit this video in case i can't put the pictures up let me just talk to you guys real quick quick about my products so i have three lipsticks that i have on my website it's a nudie pink that i've named blessed be and a hot pink that I'm wearing right now that I've named Charmed and a coral orange, which is everything that I've named Love Potion. These two lipsticks are bright, um, but the Blessed Bee is kind of like an everyday nude pinky lipstick. Uh, I also have my own blush highlighter set, which is everything that's what I have on my face. Okay, and when you open it, there's three blushes on top and three highlighters in the bottom. This is what I have on my face right now. That's what I have contoured my, my face with. And these are for summer, fall, because uh, the icy one is more for the, for the winter vibe, but I wear it all the time because I love that icy highlighter look. Um, and I sell these uh, necklaces as well. So if, if you guys are interested in the products, you can go to eliarka.com under the boutique section to purchase the products. And if you guys need private reading, life coaching, group coaching, whatever, you go to eliarka.com under services uh, to try to figure out how much I charge and uh, how to pay for it and how to contact me. Everything is there under the website. Um, also, I have my own private uh, Facebook group. It's called Alienators. I mean, I've named it Alienators. <laughs> if you guys want to send me a, a friend request, I'll add you in. And um, what else? What else? Did, I do my live streams daily, Monday to Friday on, on YouTube at 9 a.m. The weekends at 10 a.m. Uh, I literally just like share my life and I talk, I gossip and I tell you guys everything so um it's really crazy sometimes my live streams get my live streams get more views than some of the videos some of the weird videos that i do for my channel so i appreciate you guys all tuning in i appreciate all the donations all the love and okay, support so um i just feel like from the thumbnail as you guys can see there's such a huge difference in the energy between the song that selena came out with lose you to love me just even physically speaking she was heavy uh she was so sad her energy was so dark it was so depressing it was so like every time i listened to that song my throat would just like swell up and i would get so emotional and cry so much listening to that song because you can literally just feel her emotion and also you can see it on her face and you can see it in the video and it's just heart-wrenching so there is such a difference between that photo for lose you to love me to the photo of ice cream that um that's going to be released uh tomorrow friday uh, that she collabed with black pink like literally it's night and day so i think there was like 10 months right there's like a 10 months of difference between that picture lose you to love me and to the picture that they're advertising for um uh, ice cream with black pink night and day she looks young she looks skinny again she looks beautiful the smile is just amazing she looks amazing and we're so very very happy for her i hope she continues i hope she stays on this path i hope she doesn't let anybody get in there to ruin this vibe of success and moving forward and all that so i know i yap a lot but i think it's really important to say a lot of times as women we get distracted you know with like our careers and things like that when we fall in love love is kind of blinding for us and we kind of lose focus of ourselves we lose focus focus of the things that we love and we want to accomplish i just think it, it kind of does that when you're into it when you're in an intense relationship it kind of makes you 
um, you know, just everything else goes on a back burner. So I'm so proud of her. I can totally see a difference in her energy. So I wanted to take a look at her energetically. I want to take a look, look at her with the cards. And I also want to do a spirit box session with her to see if there's anything spirit wants to tell us, if anything spirit wants to tell us, because spirit definitely tells me a lot about myself and my personal stuff, which is crazy. So let's just sage real quick. I was trying to be cute today, if you guys notice. I don't know what I'm going to do if I can't use that um, app to edit because literally it was amazing. I loved it so much. It was so easy. I didn't, it wasn't that easy for me, but then I got used to how to use it. And then I just was using it so quickly. I could edit so quickly on it. It was so great. Uh, now we're back to ancient times. I've been editing everything on iMovie, which is literally like for five-year-olds. The fact that I used to just use iMovie is kind of telling about how, what a retard I was. Literally, I didn't know how to edit. I didn't know how to do anything. I'm so proud of myself. I've come so far. You guys, you guys feel me? So I feel like this is her energy. She's just like, yes, I'm going to go forward. I'm going to achieve my dreams. I'm going to do everything I want to do. I want to take a look at her and see what's coming up. So thank you, spirit. 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 What is going on with Selena Gomez? Selena Gomez, Selena Gomez. I just want to kind of take a look at her energetically. She looks amazing. She looks absolutely stunning, beautiful. She's lost a lot of weight. You can totally tell. Um, so this is about, she's announcing her music. The judgment card came out. Everyone's going to react to this song. Everyone's going to freak out over this song. She's getting a lot of attention from this song. Everyone's going to love it. She's going to look absolutely stunning in it. I'm telling you guys already. Um, uh, she's being very protective over herself. She's being very protective over her environment, who comes in, who goes out. Very careful about who she lets in. She's, like, she's kind of like me. We kind of have the same uh, astrological placement. I'm um, fire and water. She's fire and water. And after we get burned, we get very like cautious about who we, we let in through that door. Like very cautious. I don't, I don't have people coming in into my home. It's my private, you know, space. So she is working really, really hard. Um, she's traveling or she's going to be traveling. Um, the hangman, she was kind of stuck in the past. Uh, she's things are happening for her some some new things are coming in uh, I think she's dating someone I think she's dating someone sometimes she falls back into thinking about Justin and desiring him let me just put it in PG 13 um, combo here uh, because my channel I can't say anything uh, so sometimes, yeah, she, she we, we, we know that she has that bipolar disorder, so she kind of falls off the grid from time to time. We're kind of reminiscing and, and thinking about Justin, and, and she actually sexually desires him, and I think it's vice versa with, with, with them, like Justin and her, Justin and Selena desire each other um, because they're twin flames, and it's very, very difficult. You just, like, want to be with that person all the time and just physically want to be connected to them. Um, and, you know, physical um, is obviously the, 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 the best way to do that. So I feel her thinking about going there, but she is being very in control of her emotions. Sometimes she goes down, like I said. Sometimes she does the snooping around. You know, she's just human. Um, so thank you, Spirit. But, but overall, she's doing really, really well. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Anything else you guys want to show me? Yeah, she is, uh, ooh, these cards came out again after I just, ooh, this is crazy. Ooh, this is crazy. Okay, so uh, I just literally shuffled because I saw these cards earlier that I was just talking about, like she sometimes sexually desires Justin. Stay with me for a second. So I, as I was saying that, I was like, I'm going to put the cards away. I'm going to shuffle. As I shuffled, I pulled the same cards out again. We got the Ace of Wands, the Devil, this is Justin, and this is Selena. So I, I, I hate to do this to you guys. I know we need to move on. Justin's married. Selena's happy. I hate to do this to you guys, but I can't help it when Spirit wants to show me the same cards over and over. So let's pay attention to what Spirit is trying to show me. I feel, I hope I, my eyelashes are not cro crooked and I don't look weird. So um, there is that kind of a dynamic that I'm talking about where she desires him, right? She desires him. This is about sex, about sexuality, about desiring sexually to be with someone. This is Justin and this is Selena. So 
I feel like somewhere, and I know I don't, I don't want you guys to hate me and freak out on me, but just listen to what I'm saying. Somewhere, the motivation thing for Selena, what, what's up in the in this kind of like her 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 uh, vision board is that you hurt me, you abused me, I gave you so many chances, I forgave you so much over a decade, I loved you, I love you, I was there for you, I did everything for you, everyone saw it. Those are basically the lyrics of her song, Lose You To Love Me, and I, you had to leave me for me to like love, love myself and focus on myself, right? That's what she says in that song, and basically that's what's on her vision board. She always looks and says, okay, I just, she does everything with Justin in her head, kind of like, you know, when you're still in love with someone and you you get in shape for them, you dress nice, you do your hair, you do your makeup because you feel like they don't love you or they left you or they abandoned you or they broke up with you or they got with another girl or they married somebody else, right? So, but the back of your mind is like, I'm gonna be the best version of myself. I'm gonna take care of myself. I'm gonna get in shape. I'm gonna look good. I'm gonna be hot because in case I run into my ex, that kind of a vibe is what's coming through with these cards. Um, so very interesting, very, very, very interesting. So you guys see this, right? In case I shuffle and we get the same cards over again, these are the cards that keeps coming through for her right now. So I feel like she's like, yes, I got in shape. I look good. I'm beautiful. I'm hot. I'm skinny again. Boom. And, um, and it's just kind of like, she knows that Justin watches, you know? So thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Anything else? She's making that money, honey. She's successful. She's an entrepreneur. Yes, girl, she's killing it. So thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Anything else for Selena? She looks amazing. She looks amazing. She wants to move forward from the hurt. She wants to move on from the hurt. She's been resting a lot, celebrating. She wants to start everything new. She wants to be a mom. She wants to get married. All that stuff, right? There, there he is. There he is. Look at the card that's coming up for Justin. This is Justin. This is the card that he spies on Selena as Selena's card just came up. So, you know, these two are always going to be tied to each other somehow. Um, and she is trying to move forward. She wants to do well. She wants to stay focused on her life. She wants to do... Um, everything she sets her mind to she's healthy she's doing well and um she wants to move on right she wants she wants to move on she wants to get over it she's trying so hard she's a cancer sign you guys uh they they hold on for a long time they hold on for a long time so she is it's only been two years justin's been married only for two years it's not like it's been 10 years okay it's only been two years so she's doing her best so now i just want to do a really quick really really quick spirit box session for her so the cards were very good. Thank you so much, Spirit. I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna cut this part out because this is really loud at first. Okay, thank you, Spirit, thank you, Spirit, thank you, Spirit. We want to find out if there's any information on Selena Gomez. Any messages? Any messages for Selena Gomez? Every time I talk to her. Any messages for Selena? Thank you, Spirit. That's right. Adam. I know she's doing really well. Is she still in love with Justin Bieber? Heard it's complicated. Is Selena, going to, is Selena Gomez going to find a new guy and fall in love and get married and have kids in the future? Will Selena and Justin come back together in the future? Romantically? Did I hear that right? Did she predict him? I don't know. I have no idea. I have to listen to what I, when I'm editing to see what they say. 
Will Selena Gomez marry a new guy and have a family and move on from Justin forever? get back together romantically. Friends? Aren't there any messages for Selena Gomez? I want to tag her on this video. Are there any messages for her? Are there any messages for Selena Gomez? Is Selena dating a new guy? Is Selena in love with a new guy? Selena Gomez mentioned a cute boy on her cooking show. Is she in love with a new guy? Is she dating someone new? Is Selena Gomez in love with a new guy? Is Selena Gomez in love? Will Selena Gomez and the weekends come back together? Abel. Okay, well thank you so much. I don't know what was said. Well, I'm not gonna know what was said until I um, listen back and edit this. So hopefully we got some answers. I don't think I've done a spirit box session on Selena. And this is the first time, right? I can't remember. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. I just wanna say, generally speaking, she's doing really well and her energy is completely changed and shifted. She looks good, she feels good. Her energy is bright and light. And there's such a huge difference between those photos and that video of Lucy to Love Me to this ice cream video. Like you can just tell from the pictures that are they're releasing, it's like night and day. So at the end of the day, yes, heart being heartbroken sucks, but there is light at the end of the tunnel and we all survive and we all move on and move forward. So we're happy for her. I hope that she continues her success. I love you guys so much. Thank you for subscribing, sharing, liking, supporting, donating, all of that to me. I appreciate you guys so much and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning during my live on YouTube at 9 a.m. Bye.